Yer, this perp back with another video, and I just got done checking out episode two of the 101 scariest horror movie moments of all time. This is going to be numbers 88 through 76, and man, I really enjoyed um, the first episode, but I think this episode definitely was much better as far as the movies that they picked and it's dope to see other people within the horror community here on youtube kind of talk about the list and what they think um was might be a little bit too low or should be a little bit higher but let's start well off with uh number 88 this was the first one that they showed off was us and i'm i'm a really big fan of us a lot of people don't like this movie from Jordan Peele and it seems to be very divisive but I really liked this movie I feel like it was pretty effective now they could have picked something else um I feel like this would, could have been in the first episode probably the next one was The Witch this one was an A24 movie I think it came out in like 2015 I only seen it once it's not my type of like horror movie I'm not into like the folk the folklore type of um horror but it's cool zombie 2 this is something that i saw i think being mentioned during the whole cursed films i think it was one of the um i forget which episode it was i think it was like uh the cannibal holocaust or something like that holocaust it was one of those cannibal movies whatever and it, they showed um the eyeball scene which was really fucking crazy that that really great special effects then the channeling this was interesting i know that they remade this movie not too long ago well it was a long time ago they remade this movie i think um but this was an interesting horror movie that i i don't think i've ever seen it's something i definitely would want to kind of check out it seems like one of those like kind of psychological horror movies um dealing with like a haunted house and whatnot really dope stuff a surprise right here was the phantom of the opera this one came out damn near almost a hundred years ago that's what's really dope about horror and its history and i want to kind of talk about that at some point on this channel in the near future about just how long horror has been around and has really influenced a lot of just cinema today and stuff it's just movies like this is really dope and i want to kind of dive more into that era of horror because i think it's very unique and special to kind of see where it all kind of started and see where like the modern day horror kind of got their influence from and just seeing how it, it's just really dope i, I want to kind of dive more into that but anyways next we got is a movie called the brood which i vaguely remember this i think i've probably seen like bits and pieces of this movie this is a david's uh cronenberg movie and i recently reviewed um crimes of the future really wasn't my cup of tea but it made me want to kind of check out this movie to kind of see what what it's hidden for because it definitely looked interesting it, based off the premise he's definitely not my type of like horror director but i can still appreciate what he kind of brings to the craft and just staying true with the practical effects and whatnot the next one we got here i definitely seen this movie the tale of two sisters no spoilers in for this movie but if you could find this i'm pretty sure they're showing this on shutter you could probably find this on shutter but anywhere that you could find this on any type of streaming service or whatever definitely go watch this um i can't recommend it enough it's it's crazy it's a really crazy movie and just the scene that they showed um was really effective as well but that's just like the tip of the iceberg of that movie next we got another movie that i've definitely seen bits and pieces of but probably haven't seen the whole thing was demons where instead of turning into zombies people just turn into demons after they get uh bitten Another shocking pick that I saw in this list was Dr. Sleep. Dr. Sleep was a really dope movie. Surprisingly good sequel uh, to The Shining. I still prefer The Shining, but Dr. Sleep is definitely effective and it's very graphic. Especially the scene of what they do with the one kid is... I, I, I didn't think about that because like, what Shudder likes to do on Twitter is they'll kind of ask like, yo, like guess what movie this was and i and i never thought of um 
Dr. Sleep, and that's what's interesting about this list. You don't know what's going to pop up in what type of order. It's really dope. Next, we have Candyman, the really good Candyman, the only Candyman movie that actually matters, not that one that came out last year. Jesus, man, I, I just want that to be wiped away from my memory. But yes, I, I think Candyman definitely deserves its spot here. I think you could pick any moment from that movie and it to be like the scariest moment. It doesn't really matter which one you pick, but man, Tony Todd really did his thing with that original Candyman. If you haven't seen Candyman, come on now. Go, do, you're doing yourself a disservice. Go check that out. Next, we got the evasions of the body snatchers. And once I seen this on the list, I was like, yo, I, I wish Marvel would kind of take hints from this movie. You know what I'm saying? With Secret Evasion, it would be really dope. But I, this is another movie I want to kind of revisit. And I'm surprised that they haven't remade this yet. Um, we'll have to wait and see. I, I definitely think that this is something that could be brought back into the modern day. Evil Dead. The Evil Dead, to be specific. One of my favorite horror movies of all time. This is another horror movie where you could pick literally any scene and it just scary as shit but then it kind of got goofy uh with later movies like with evil dead 2 but it's still it's a still a dope solid horror movie um it's one of those movies that you should definitely watch if you are new to the genre and you want to get into some wild shit then they end off with dawn of the dead Zack snyder's dawn of the dead which is kind of shocking right here so snyder fans you gotta win here i guess <laughs> But Dawn of the Dead was definitely, as far as the remake goes, that came out in like 04 was really dope. I really loved that, that movie and the, the the opening scene of that was really dope and it was really effective. I'm curious to see if um, 28 Days or 28 Weeks Later is on this list, but I thought this was a really dope list compared to last week's not saying last week's was bad i would say it's almost like an appetizer and just based off this bunch of movies that they picked it's going to be a wild list man there's definitely going to be some movies that people have never heard of or from a different type of genre or era i should say but let me know how you guys feel about this list do you feel like it's getting better or do you feel like movies are still being misplaced let me know how you guys feel about it till next week i will see y'all the next one peace